In this video, we are going to be covering stage-by-stage -stage calculations using the Depreciator chart. The problem statement was given from exam two this semester and reads as follows. A stream with 40 mole percent N heptane, 20 mole percent N octane, and 40 mole percent N decane is to be distilled to achieve an N octane fractional recovery of 0.9 and an N decane fractional recovery of 0.8 in the bottoms. The column has a partial condenser and total reboiler. The column is operated at a pressure of 101.3 kilopascals and a feed flow rate of 1,000 kilomoles per hour. 100% of the feed is flashed and the reflux ratio is 3. Write the governing equations and show your calculations. Do calculations for at least one equilibrium stage, assuming the feed stage is not at the stage where you start your stage-by-stage -stage calculations. So I will start with the diagram. So we have our feed coming in at 1,000 kilomoles per hour. We have a mole fraction of heptane being 0.4, of octane being 0.2, and of decane being 0.4. We'll have our distillation column. Since we have a partial condenser, I'm going to write the mole fraction as YD and we have a total reboiler, EXD. So let's start with our givens. We are given a reflux ratio, L over D, being 3. I will denote this by R. Our L over V ratio then will be reflux ratio over reflux ratio plus 1, or 3 over 4, or 0 0.75. We are given a fractional recovery of octane in the distillate as 0 0.9 and a fractional recovery of decane in the bottoms as 0 0.8. From these balances, we can figure out that our fractional recovery of octane in the bottoms is 0 0.1 and our fractional recovery of decane in the distillate is 0 0.2. So we can start writing our flow rates. We'll start with the distillate. We can find dyd as the fractional recovery of component i times your feed flow rate times your feed mole fraction. So for heptane, this will be your fractional recovery, which was 1, times your feed flow rate, which was 1,000, times your mole fraction, which was 0 0.4. This will give you a dyd of 400. The same can be done for octane and for decane. So for heptane, this will be your fractional recovery, which was 1, times your feed flow rate, which was 1,000, times the mole fraction, which was 0 0.4. This will give you a dyd of about 400. The same can be done for octane and decane. You can find your total distillate flow rate by summing over all of these values. So this will give you a total flow rate of about 660. From these, you can figure out that your mole fractions of each individual component will be your dyd over your total distillate. So your fraction of heptane will be 400 over 660, giving you a flow rate of about 0 0.606. And then the same can be done for octane and for decane. The same can be done for the bottoms. Your heptane will be zero since it is assumed that all of the heptane is going into the distillate, so none will be going into the bottoms. For your octane, this will be the fractional recovery, which was 0 0.1 times 
1,000 times 0 0.2. And this will give you a flow rate about 20. Same thing can be done for decking. Summing over these, you'll figure out that your bottoms is 340. And then from these, you'll figure out that your x of octane in the bottoms will be 20 over 340, giving you 0 0.059. And decane being 0 0.941. We are ready to start building our operating lines. The enriching operating line is given as yj plus 1 is equal to your L over V ratio times x sub j plus 1 minus L over V times your distillate mole fraction. So for heptane, this will be 0 0.75 times x sub j plus 1 minus 0 0.75 times the distillate fraction, which was 0 0.606. This gives you an equation of 0 0.75 x sub j plus 0 0.152. And then the same can be done for octane and for decane. Now we can start building our stripping operating lines. First, we need to figure out the individual flow rates. So your liquid flow rate will be your reflux ratio times your distillate ratio, which will be 3 times 660, which gives 1980. Your V will be D plus L, which is 660 plus 1980, which gives 2640. Since 100% of the feed is flash, all of the feed is turning into vapor. So drawing the diagram, you'll have your feed coming in. You'll have a vapor coming up. Down here will be V bar. Coming down will be L bar. And coming down here will be L. So if all of it is becoming vapor, all of the feed is coming up this way. So from these, you can tell that your V bar will be V minus the feed, which will give you 1640. And then your L bar will just equal L. So from these, you can figure out that your L bar over V bar is equal to 1980 over 1640, or about 1.207. So now we can start building our stripping operating lines. And this is given by yj plus 1 is equal to L bar over V bar times x sub j plus 1 minus L bar over V bar times your mole fraction in the bottom stream. So for heptane, this will be 1.207 times x sub j plus 1 minus 1.207 times your fraction in the bottoms, which was 0. This will cause that entire term to drop out, and you just get 1.207 x sub j. The same can be done for octane and for decane. These two equations, here and here, are your two governing equations. This will govern your concentration throughout the entire column per stage. So now we can start the stage by stage calculation. So we can start by estimating a temperature. So I'm going to start with an estimation of about 110 degrees Celsius. If we are to go to our depreciator chart, so if we were to go to our depreciator chart, and draw a line to 110, we can figure out our K values. So at 110, our K value for N heptane is about 1.4.
our n octane value is about 0 0.67 and our n decane value is about right smack dab at about 1.2. So let's record these values. So we have heptane, octane, and decane, and our k values are about 1.4, 0 0.67, and 0 0.12. So we can find our x sub 0 value by, by our y sub 0 value divided by the k value that we just found. So from these, you can figure out your x. And now that we found these values, you can sum all the x values, and they should sum up to be 1. You can already see from these that we've already overshot it, so our temperature is too low. So we need to go higher. So I'm going to make a guess of about 140. Going back to the depreciator chart, we'll find our values of n heptane being about 2.7. Our n octane value is just shy of 1.5, so I'd call that about 1.45. And then our n decane value is about 0.32. So let's record them. So then our x's found the same way were 0.224. 0 0.188 and 0 0.378. So summing these together, you'll get about 0 0.79, which is just short of it. So your temperature will be somewhere in between these two values. So I'm going to guess about 130. Going back to the depreciator chart, We are going to find a K value of heptane to be about 2.3, your octane being about 1.2, and your N decane value being about 0 0.24. So then our X values from these are as follows. So in sum summing these up, you'll get a value of 0 0.995 which for most practical purposes will be close enough. Realistically, this temperature will be slightly lower than this, so it's going to be around 129, 128. But for most practical purposes, especially on an exam, this will be close enough to where you can use it. So now we can go to our enriching operating equations and, and figure out our Y value for stage 1. So our y at stage 1 for heptane will be equal to 0 0.5 times x0 of heptane plus 0 0.152. This will give you a y1 value of 0 0.75 times your x0, which was the value that we found just up here, which was 0 0.263. Plus 0 0.152. And then the same thing can be done for octane and for decane. So having found these values, these are your values at stage one and can be used for further stage by stage calculations. So you would repeat the same process using y1 and then finding your subsequent x1 and then you can find your x2. That is how to do stage-by-stage stage calculations. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.